Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another top five. There has been a lot and there will be a live stream today from 12.30 of NRL Traders. But we're having a little break from that and today we're going to be discussing the top five locks in the NRL. Now these video, uh, I love opinions in the comments, but you guys need to understand that this is off the 2019 going into the 2020 season. This isn't of the last decade of NRL, so don't think that way. But let's get into my top five, beginning with an honorable mention after the intro. My honourable mention is from the Penrith Panthers, it is James Fisher-Harris. Now, the ability for James Fisher-Harris to offload the ball, break through tackles, make tackles, he is a very good forward, uh, he's a very good lock for the Penrith Panthers, uh, he's, he's versatile, agility, um, he's also got a bit of speed to him, James, uh, not, not fast, fast, but... He can, he can run the ball quick, and I think he's quite a dangerous lock, in my opinion. I think he's someone that uh, is, a, is somewhat underrated. I think he's known about for the most part now, but in, in some ways he's underrated. Um, you think of players at the Panthers, Viliami Kikau being their best forward, but I'd have to say that James Fisher-Harris would have to be up there, and uh, mate, you've got my honourable mention for the best lock in the NRL. Coming in at number five, he doesn't always get the ball, but when he does get the ball, he's able to execute some really good uh, plays. Whether it, sometimes there'll be there'll be plays where, of great pl passes uh, from the Melbourne Storm. It's Dale Finucane coming in at number five. Now Dale has been part of the Storm for a while now. I believe I believe four years could be longer. Um, but when we're talking about a lock and the way that they play. Again, really underrated to the team. The, the, the names I speak about after this, I think you guys will really start to know. But these are two guys who, who deserve more credit than they get. Um, and, and Dale Finucane is one of them from the Storm, um, doing what a lock needs to do. The tackles, again, the tackle breaks, which is what you want from a lock. You want them to break tackles, which you guys will know, number one. Uh, he, he breaks through tackles a lot, but Dale Finucane comes in at number five for this list for me. Do you agree or disagree with the first two so far? Coming in at number four is someone who can play not only in the front row, but can also play in hooker. It is Victor Radley from the Sydney Roosters. I am a massive, massive fan of this player. Uh, Victor Radley can make some good kicks as well. He has kicked the ball sometime. I think it's even led to tries. He's very, very, uh, again, I use this word a lot, but versatile into different positions. But he's starting to get really good in that lock position. Uh, I like him there at lock. I think he's one of the best locks in the comp. No, no, no wonder I've got uh, that there. I think Jake Friend at hooker is, is a good way to go and training Victor Radley which is starting to get real down pat, uh, the, the number 13 jersey. He's fantastic to watch, and uh, he doesn't make errors much. He really doesn't make errors much. There are a few errors against the Panthers, I think it was, in round one. I can't remember the last time that he had the ball and did not hold on to it or make an error off a pass. Um, he's a really good executor on the field. With a 93.6 tackle efficiency for the New South Wales Blues, their lock is Jake Trevojevic. Again, someone who is somewhat underrated. I think his name's really starting to get here, out of there now. I think Tommy Turbo, who is a fantastic player, I won't take anything away from him, um, has stole a lot of the limelight uh, from Jake Trevojevic, just having the surname there. That's the first one you think of. But Jake Trevojevic is an absolute workhorse for the Manly Sea Eagle. Uh, the, tackle, the tackles are phenomenal. Some of his tackle, the big hits that he can put on players. I love watching Jake Trevojevic play. I think he's a massive asset to the Manly team. Again, tackle breaks is what you want from a lock. You want a lock to have the ball, break through tackle. You see it all the time from Jake Trevojevic. You see it through origin. I think in 2018, he may have even scored a try. Um, he, he, he can, when he gets the ball, he can put the ball down on the field. And uh, he's a fantastic lock, so he takes that number three position. Coming in at number two, also plays for the New South Wales Blues, it is Cameron Murray. Now, Cameron Murray, one thing that I haven't really seen in 
other NRL players that he does that really impresses me is the, the speed of the play the ball, putting the ball down, playing it, catching the opposition off guard. That is what you want to see. Now, Cameron Murray technically can't make this list as Liam Knight is now playing lock for the Rabbitoh and Cameron Murray has been shifted to the second row. I say swap him around, put him back in that lock position where he belongs. He has speed. Uh, he breaks out of dummy half. Uh, he, he can play dummy half, I feel like, at time. Uh, again, some big hits have been seen by Cameron Murray, but Locke should be doing that. Locke should be making those good tackles. The tackle efficiency rating I don't have off the top of my head. If I was to guess, I'd probably say it's high, quite high. I'd say it's about 91%. That's why he's so high on this list. But Cameron Murray, um, the play the ball speed, the way that he runs the ball uh, is, is great for a Locke. And coming in at number one, guys, you guys know how much I love this bloke. And this bloke deserves to be the number one lock in the comp. It is Jason Tamalolo from the North Queensland Cowboys. What a freakish player this bloke is. I've spoken to some NRL players and they speak about how hard this bloke is to tackle. He is fantastic on the field. The great thing about it is that you can see him run the ball from a pass and score a try. Normally for a lock or a forward, you think of uh, just planting themselves over the line through a tackle or through a gap. But Jason Tamalolo can run through players. He can steamroll players. He is an absolute weapon, a train in this position. He offloads the ball so quick as well. Like Cameron Murray with the quick play of the ball. Jason Tamalolo can be in a tackle with three players still standing. Chuck the ball to the left. And there you are, Kyle Felt has scored a try for the North Queensland Cowboy. J, uh, he, JT, should we call him JT because we've had Jonathan Thurston? I guess he's the new generation of JT. Jason Tamalolo is an absolute freak. I hope you guys agree with this. I wonder if anyone will disagree with this. I think there'll be some different... Um, my first two, Dale Finucane and James Fisher-Harris, I think people may be sceptical, but I think Jason Tamalolo is, is the best lock in the comp, and uh, I can't wait to see him uh, represent Tonga, if he represents Tonga again this year, if we get to watch that game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys enjoyed the top five series, and uh, hit like and subscribe, we are on the road to 2,000 subs, I've jumped on the road, I'm keen, let's hit 2,000 subs as soon as possible, and we will be live streaming at 12.30, as I said, with Josh's box break. Anyway guys, that's it from me, thanks, for, and I'll see you guys later.